Let's change gears now. It's President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's 72nd birthday today. And on Monday, he approved the Renewed Hope Infrastructure Development Fund to bridge Nigeria's funding gap of 25 billion US dollars a year in infrastructure. To provide further details on the initiative, I'm now being joined by the president's spokesman, Ajuri Ngalele, who joins me from the Federal Capital Territory. Ajuri and Galele, it's a pleasure having you on Channels Business Global today. Thank you for taking out your time to speak to us. And now, it does appear as if the country has been trying to approve, improve its infrastructure for years. Um, but can you please provide an overview of the current state of infrastructure in Nigeria, highlighting areas that will be improved because of the Renewed Hope Infrastructure Development Fund? Thank you so much, Juliana. It's always a privilege to be with you. Uh, let me start by saying that uh, the administration of uh, President Mohamedou Buhari before now uh, had obviously kind of kick-started the process of infrastructural renewal uh, with five new international airports, uh, three new high-speed rail lines uh, in different regions of the country, and of course, uh, the new Lucky Deep Sea port, the first uh, new seaport in over 40 years. Uh, many roads and bridges, etc. Now, uh, that was a good start, but we recognize that in view of 50 years worth of infrastructural deficit, uh, there is so much more that needs to be done, which is why President Bola Metinubu uh, is not just continuing, but is picking up the pace uh, with acceleration and a widened scope of infrastructure projects uh, to ensure that we have an infrastructural backbone effectively to support uh, this aggressive push for foreign direct investment that he's been making around the world uh, since assuming office. Uh, to be very specific, uh, we are going to be uh, fixated on multiple sectors of the economy uh, with uh, new infrastructure projects. You're going to be looking at new power plants. You're going to be looking at uh, several new dams across the country. You're going to be looking at uh, new irrigation systems so that we can have our farmers, uh, you know, producing high yields and high quality of high yields, uh, you know, uh, across all seasons uh, of the year, uh, which had not been obtainable for many of uh, many decades now in many arid parts of the country. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the president is, is leveraging on uh, the new Renewed Hope Infrastructure Development Fund to also deal decisively with, uh, you know, putting in place new oil and gas pipelines. Uh, you know, new airports around the country and expansion of existing airports so that we can have world-class terminals that can accommodate the type of traffic that we envisage having over the course of the next several years with Mr. President's current investment push. Uh, again, uh, new seaports. Right now, the president uh, is already investing over one billion U.S. dollars in the reconstruction uh, of Nigeria's seaport infrastructure. So in addition to the new seaport in Lekki, for example, uh, the president is saying, look, we can't have all of our seaport activity uh, being, uh, you know, concentrated in western Nigeria. We need to open up all of our seaports, go back to our eastern seaports uh, that have a lot of value to offer, uh, make sure that that infrastructure is totally reconstructed, ensure that the access roads in and out of those ports are reconstructed in such a way that we can facilitate uh, import and export flows into and out of the country. This is ultimately, these are the, the, the factors that investors are uh, assessing when they're making investment decisions as to whether they should bring their money into Nigeria or Morocco or Egypt or South Africa or Kenya or any other competitive country in the African continent. Uh, we're going to ensure that we position Nigeria through this fund uh, to deal with uh, you know, those, uh, those, those enabling bits of infrastructure uh, that will ultimately make life easier for our business people, make life easier for our citizens, uh, and facilitate the movement of goods, services, and people in such a way that uh, we can unlock this economy for the benefit of all Nigerians. It's been a busy week. Um, of course, lots of scandal involving uh, Binance. Then we had good news um, over the weekend about the release of the kidnapped school children in Kaduna. Another big event taking place this week, of course, is the president's birthday. Um, 
talk to me, if you can, very briefly, um, Adjuri, about what it's been like working with the president over the past year or so. Um, it was noted recently uh, that you actually have a very special position because you are one of only few that have been able to work uh, from both presidents. President Mohamedou Buhari, now, of course, official spokesperson, special advisor uh, to Bola Tinubu. Talk to me about the man. The man is a workaholic, uh, which is why some of us in the office joke, uh, we call him President No Sleep, uh, because uh, so those of us who work with him also don't get to sleep as a result. I think people would be surprised to hear you say that. Um, yeah, Adjuri. Do you people, think he gets a fair, fair press treatment? Well, well I, I, I think I would leave that uh, in, in the uh, field of, uh, in the domain of public opinion, but I would say this. Uh, I think Nigerians recognize, even from his time in Lagos, that this is a man who will wake up at odd hours, touring roads, touring various projects, making sure the civil servants are in the office on time. I mean, this is a hands-on micromanager who is antsy when he's not working. He needs to be working. His hands need to be working. Yeah. Uh, he sleeps late. He wakes up extremely early. Uh, this is who uh, Nigerians have elected. I think one of the one of the uh, things that maybe most Nigerians would not know about him uh, having had the opportunity uh, of working closely with him is that he's probably the best listener I've ever seen uh, in terms of my interactions with leaders. This man will listen to you speak, even if it's a presentation of 30 minutes, and he will reel out in detail almost everything that you have said. And not only will he reel out what you've said, but as he's doing so, he will, he, will, he will be cross-checking the weaknesses and strengths of your presentation. He will tell you, this is what I think should be, it can be done better. I like this idea. I mean, this is the detail uh, orientation of the man. Uh, he's very brilliant. He listens. He works hard. Uh, and ultimately, I believe that with the political will that he's always demonstrated, uh, he is the president that I think will take Nigeria to the destiny all of us. Um, have sought for our country. Well, we're going to hold you uh, to those words because we desperately need the change. Chief, Chief Ajuri Engelele, Special Advisor to the President, Media and Publicity. Of course, he is the presidential spokesperson. Uh, thank you for giving us all that insight on the Renewed Hope Infrastructure Development Fund. And of course, please do wish the President a happy 72nd birthday from the Channel's Business Global team here in London. Thank you so much, Juliana. Take care and God bless you.